Daddy! Shh, listen. Okay, today I'm going to cover two movements. I'm going to cover the squat crow headstand, which is the slightly easier version or a great warm up for the squat crow handstand. Now, obviously, we have some prerequisites here. So, we have to have a squat, we have to have a crow, and we have to have a headstand or a handstand. So these are the full movements. So here I'm starting in the squat position. I'm going to slowly load the hands on the shoulders and come forwards into the crow position, show control. And then I'm going to slowly lower. Then I'm going to slowly lower my head towards the floor, completely take the weight out of the elbows and then go up into a headstand position. And then with control, lower the position back down to the crow. The tricky part is coming up and catching that crow without falling back to the floor again with the feet and then back to your squat position. Now the harder variation is to do the same thing, but instead of going to headstand, it's going to handstand. So I'm in the squat position, slowly show control in the crow. I'm gonna dip the head down towards the floor as the knees come off the elbows and then push up to handstand. Show control in the handstand and then it'll slowly lower back down again. So how do we train these movements? So basically we could go eccentrics. So I could do the down phase of this. So I could start in the headstand position I could even just step onto the crow position with the head on the floor so I could step my knees onto the elbows and then I can slowly seesaw the hips backwards, let the shoulders come off the floor, transition into the crow. I have to lean slightly forwards into the crow to catch that, show control and then slowly come back down to the squat. And then with the harder version, I start in that handstand position, I slowly lower down till knees touch the elbows. Then from the handstand, I'm gonna show like a partial range handstand push up bend the knees as I come down, sort of frog the knees out, or frog the legs out. So I kiss onto the elbows and then slowly come down to that squat. The eccentrics can also be done against the wall. So if you have the strength or the control to come down from a handstand, but don't quite have the balance, you can kick up to a handstand, heels touching the wall. I slowly take the body. Now it could be the body from the shoulders to the feet, or it could, could just be the hips to the wall. And then I slowly roll down through the butt, the low back, the mid back, same as I do on an eccentric press frog the legs as I come down and try and find the elbows with the knees. Now this is quite tricky on the wall because the wall gets in the way. It stops my head going forwards. So you might not be able to actually catch the crow, but you can definitely control the movement down and spend some more important time under tension through that range. Then I could go partial range. So the partial range, I could just play around with the positions from that squat to the crow to the headstand and just flutter with the variations or the depth of the head towards a block and back again and slowly decrease the height of the block. With the handstand version, I could go from squat to crow and then just push up as much as I have with control. So it's like holding the bent arm position that some people who are stronger but don't have quite so good straight arm balance could hold and then come back down again. You could just flutter with that. So go up a little bit, come back down. And you could do the wall version as well where you could just come down partial and go back up again. The definitely the one I really like to do against the wall is the shoulder lean. So taking the shoulder to the wall and back off again, you can make that harder by going further away. Just make sure you turn the hands out so it's not too hard on the wrists. And then a really good one is to do this chest to wall as well. So it's a little bit like the toe pull position. So you're gonna chest to wall hands down with your hands quite far away from the wall. And then I'm gonna lead with the shoulders. So close in the shoulders and then push the open shoulder position again and then back again. Both of those versions, you could put a bit of a bend in the elbow at the end position as well to make it a little bit deeper into that partial range. So you could also do single leg versions of both of those, both the wall ones and the freestanding version, which make it easier from a strength point of view and you can sort of keep a leg behind so you're not, having, not dealing with all of the weight at once. Now, once you have the movement down, you could either do repetitions or you could add things in like presses. So here I'm showing the squat version into a press, into a handstand push up, and then back down again. But it's a really good one of strengthening both sides of the handstand again. And you could do variations of the same thing with different arm balances. Let me know your thoughts on this one down in the comments. Thumbs up and subscribe will be appreciated and I'll speak to you next time. Thanks guys. Mm -hmm.